different. You got all this lighting and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> Just sit next to me with your mouth full of pizza. <laughs> Just gonna eat on stream. <laughs> Press one for bacon chewing. <laughs> All right, so we got Gizmo and Frinny in loser semis. So winner gets to Mario. Yeah, that's pretty legit. I re regret going to get Arby's. And then Chris Psycho probably does too. All right, so we're in there. We're going to Pokemon Stadium two. Frinny's rocking Ganondorf. Gizmo with the Gizmo game you watch. Um, I'm guessing he retired the Squirtle after the change, even though I don't know how much Squirtle got changed. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's been running Game Watch all tournament. Ooh, kind of a risky warlock kick. Yeah, I guess uh, I haven't really seen oh. uh, Gizmo's Game Watch in a week. Well, back? No, too far. Or not get his Game Watch, it's Squirtle. Squirtle in yeah. a while. Nice foot from Prinny. Get the forward air. Not quite enough. He's gonna get the edge guard. No, not yet. Dang, <laughs> Game Watch has good recovery, man. Being floaty and that much of a up B is pretty crazy. And. Nice DI, that's pretty crazy for a light character. But it doesn't really look like Gizmo ever like sweet spots with his LP. So like No, it, he's not very good. Oh. <laughs> if okay. uh, Jeremy just like throws out a hitbox when he up E's, it'll just always get it. It usually him. hits it, yeah. It's got some weird priority though, especially because Gen doesn't have huge disc on joining hitboxes, so he might get out prioritized by the rising up E. But uh but it is very true that if you time is up, he's up to get out. Jeremy gets back on safely. Nice forward air from Gizmo. Game Watch has a whole lot of just disjointed hitboxes on the other hand, uh, which uh, can be kind of a struggle to get through some, sometimes like that. Uh, that the uh, box or the credit card yeah, from uh, East Coast Lane. <laughs> some oh! Uh, it, some people thought the bus pass or whatever. That's subway right, pass, right. yeah. My bad, Gizmo. I guess you do know how to sweet spot with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for doubting you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Penny does take the lead. I feel oh, oh. and Said nothing. What he he did like an attack out of the float or something. Because he uh, stopped floating, he could have upbeat, but he did it really late. Unless there's a mechanic I don't know about. But oh. and not close enough. That was some pretty 40 eye threat for that, unfortunately for Gizmo. Jeremy Prinny with a uh, entire stock lead now. Oh. Game and watch this throw is so obnoxious just because you have no clue what throw it is. Oh double stomp, go for a warlock kick the next triple stomp. Put on a lot of damage off of the flat stock. It's a lot for Gizmo. The <laughs> four stomps so far, and that's not quite it. Jeremy going for way too much. All right, I hope Gizmo wins percent. now. <laughs> Let's go, Gizmo. On a one forward air, one forward tilt. Could be oh the back air. That'll do it too. A lot of Ganondorf moves now are nasty. Let's mind him. I got it. Uh, okay, I'm just looking for mine. Uh, okay. Is it is it the white one over there? Blocking Tony's not there. It's kind of funny, I bought like an extra large mouse pad for my uh, computer at home, uh -huh. but most of it I just have things on it, so I'm just using oh, a so regular so size like mouse pad. pad. <laughs> I've got, well, Tudor got me the big Waldo, no, the big Diablo 3 oh. mouse pad for my birthday, it's huge, and it fits kind of perfectly, but I also have like the Collector's Edition StarCraft 2 mouse pad and the Collector's Edition uh, Diablo Reaper of Souls mouse pad too. So I've got those stacked up So you up just make those it. into like a super It's almost like a desk, pad. yeah, at that point. <laughs> Jeremy puts on a lot of damage with uh, 1, 2, 3. The uh, second... Oh my god, he's just stomping him. He's just crushing through Gizmo's defense. Uh, oh, but uh, I noticed that was strange. Uh, Gandor's down smash only connected one time uh, instead of sucking him into the second one. Yeah. Weird meteor from that IQ. Good choice from Jeremy. Oh, but nice uh, reaction from Gizmo there. Game Watch gets some pretty weird conversions out of his upbeat. Pretty just trying to go in with some more down airs. This, I think, is Gizmo's favorite stage where he kind of picked it against me. Oh. Ooh, that is the third in a row. Goes for an upbeat and <laughs> ties with it, so not a bad decision. Uh, that's kind of surprising. So does Ganondorf's up B have any grab mechanic, or is it just an attack? If it just like tips you, it'll hit you. It's just a hit. Okay. If it doesn't so grab it you. It can grab. Nice. Oh my goodness. Frinny putting on so much damage with the stomp combination. So that's, that's going to be another stock. 
Maybe choosing a small stage was not the correct choice to give him this time around. Nice parachute. Let's see where we should go with this. You gotta be careful not to get suicide. Duh. Oh. Oh, another one. Goes for oh a wall I kick, finally the connects jag. with it. Jeremy wanted to go out and spike him again. Oh, and that's gonna be it. 2-0 wow. -oh so far. Printing just needs to win one more to get into losers finals and a guaranteed third place. Wait, no. I think that's. Oh, are we just? Okay, this is just so loser semis. The loser semis. I would think that. I think we only do best of fives if it's playing for money. Technically, they are. They're guaranteed money by winning this. This is that was just loser semis. So they're going loser. to losers finals. 